hello dear audience i hope you all will be well and having quite informative videos from my channel the country that i am going to have a look into detail is belarus belarus is a landlocked country located in the east europe it became independent in 1991 and it was the smallest of the three republics included at that time in the soviet union of russia I am going to tell you people that the I am I discuss in my videos the name and capital of the countries in their independence political and economic setup culture and civilizations geography and its bordering countries wars and languages and various power and memberships so let's start our video as you can see the flag of belarus belarus flag comprising of four colors almost the dominant color is red and then light green and then white this country is also known as belorussia or white russia capital city of belarus the capital of belarus is minsk it was declared capital in the year of 1918 minsk is also the largest city of belarus the nickname of belarus the nickname of belarus is white russia the country was formerly known as belorussia if we talk about the independence of belarus the independence of belarus achieved in 1991 marked a significant milestone in the nation's history bringing an end to soviet rule despite challenges belarus has maintained its sovereignty affirming its own political economic and cultural identity the ongoing pursuit of independence reflects the resilience and determination of the belarusian people then we have national game of belarus biathlon is very important sport of belarus it is known as the national sport of the country if we have a look on the economic setup of belarus belarus is an export oriented country it has very well developed manufacturing industry agriculture and services sectors are also the part of her economy according to the 2010 2020 the country's gdp reached by 18.3% in various comparisons the growth of productivity was 28.2% the gdp per capita of belarus was 7465 us dollars in the year of 2021 imports and exports of belarus first of all we will discuss imports belarus imports a variety of goods to meet its domestic needs and supplement its industrial production some of the key imports include energy resources belarus heavily relies on in the imports of oil and natural gas primarily from russia to meet its energy needs for industries and households Belarus also imports machinery and equipment for its manufacturing sector including industrial machinery vehicles electrical machinery and parts for production processes Belarus imports chemicals including fertilizers pharmaceuticals and various chemical compounds used in industries such as agriculture pharmaceuticals and manufacturing This country imports metals and metal products such as steel, iron, copper and aluminium which are used in manufacturing and construction sectors. Belarus is known for exporting machinery and equipment including tractors, trucks, heavy machinery and industrial equipment. These products are valued for their quality and competitive pricing. exports of belarus belarus exports a variety of chemical products such as fertilizers synthetic fibers plastics and pharmaceuticals the country has a strong chemical industry and it is recognized for its production and export of potassium fertilizers 
metals and metal products. Belarus exports metals and metal products including steel, iron, aluminium and metal structures. These products are used in various industries such as construction, manufacturing and infrastructure development. If we have a look on the political setup of Belarus, Belarus has a presidential republic political system where the president serves as both the head of the state and the head of government. We can easily guess that this country's political system is based on presidential system and this was surely inspired by Russian presidential system. The current president, Alexander Lukashenko, has been in power since 1994. We can also call that this presidential system is going to be the largest and the longest. The political landscape in Belarus is characterized by strong centralized authority and limited political pluralism. Opposition parties force faces Restrictions and dissent is often met with suppression and limited freedom of expression. The government maintains tight control over key institutions, including the judiciary and media, which has raised concerns about domestic principles and human rights. The political system has faced significant domestic and international scrutiny particularly in relation to issues issues of electoral integrity and human rights violation. What kind of wars uh, Belarus has been fighting since its independence? Belarus has had a complex history marked by various conflicts and wars. Here are some notable wars in which Belarus has been involved. First of all, World War I. During World War I, Belarusian territory was caught in the crossfire between the German Empire and the Russian Empire. Battles were fought on Belarusian soil, resulting in significant damage and casualties of the Belarusians. Polish-Soviet War Belarus witnessed intense fighting during the Polish-Soviet War of 1919 till 1921. The war involved conflicts between newly established Soviet Russia and the newly independent Poland, with Belarus serving as a battleground for both countries. World War II Belarus suffered immensely during World War II, which is often referred to as the Great Patriotic War in the history of Belarus. It was occupied by the Nazi Germany, led by Hitler leading to the widespread destruction and loss of life. The Belarusian people actively participated in resistance movements and partisan warfare against the Nazi occupation. Soviet Afghan War While not fought on the Belarusian soil, Belarus was part of the Soviet Union during the Soviet Afghan War that was fought between 1979-1989. Many Belarusian soldiers served in the conflict and some of them lost their lives too. If we discuss the geography of Belarus, Belarus is a landlocked country located in the Eastern Europe. Here are some key aspects of its geography, borders and neighbors. Belarus shares borders with five countries. To the north, it is bordered by Latvia and Lithuania, while to the east it shares a border with Russia, Poland is situated to the west, and Ukraine is to the south. Belarus is often considered a bridge between Eastern Europe and Russia. Landscape of Belarus The terrain of Belarus is predominantly flat with vast plains covering most of the country. The landscape is characterized by rolling hills, forests and numerous rivers and lakes. The largest rivers include the Dnieper, the Western Dvina and the Neman. Forests and Natural Areas of Belarus Forests are an integral part of Belarus geography, covering about one-third of its total land. The most significant forested areas are found in the south and southeast, including the famous Bialoviza Forest, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The culture and civilization of Belarus are shaped by a rich history, blending influences from Slavic, Baltic, and Eastern European traditions. Here are some key aspects of Belarusian culture. 
first of all language and literature the official language of belarus is belarusian although russian is widely spoken and understood belarusian literature has a long standing tradition with notable writers such as frank sakrina yanka kupala and yakub kolas contributing to the country's literary heritage folk traditions belarusian folk traditions and customs are deeply rooted in rural life folk dances music and traditional customs are celebrated during festivals and cultural events the kupala night and the malsanista are popular folk festivals that highlight the traditional beliefs and rituals of the belarusians cultural heritage sites belarus is home to numerous historical and cultural landmarks include the mir castle complex and the novizev palace which both unesco world heritage sites these architectural treasures represent the country's rich past if we have a look on the language of this country the official language of belarus is belarusian it is recognized as the state language and holds importance in government education and official documentation russian however is also widely spoken and understood by the majority of the population of this country due to historical cultural and linguistic factors russian has significant usage in daily life media and the inter-ethnic communication within the belarus both belarusian and russian languages are considered important in the country reflecting the linguistic diversity and the bilingualism present in belarusian society the population of this country the estimated population of belarus is almost 2009786 people if we have a look on famous things of this country belarus is known for several notable aspects that have gained recognition both within the country and internationally here are some of the things for which belarus is known rich history and cultural heritage Belarus has a rich historical legacy with famous landmarks and UNESCO World Heritage sites such as Mir Castle Complex and the Nesvi Palace. The country's cultural heritage including its literature, music and traditional crafts is celebrated and cherished. Tractors and machinery Belarus is known for its production of agricultural machinery and tractors the Belarusian Brand Belarus has gained recognition worldwide for manufacturing reliable and durable agricultural equipment. Famous personalities of this country. First of all, Mark Chagall. He was a famous Belarusian artist. He was known for modernism. Then we have Dasha Nikrasova is a film and theater personality. Vitaly Sherbo is an artistic gymnast and four times olympic bronze medalist then in the last andrey arlovsky he is a famous mixed martial arts and former ufc heavyweight champion various memberships gained by this country belarus is not a member of world trade organization NATO membership Belarus is not a member of NATO North Atlantic Treaty Organization then UNO membership Belarusian signed the UNO charter on October 1945 in the end we have ILO membership Belarus has been a member of the International Labour Organization since 1954 so this was the information about belarus and eastern european country i hope you will be well informed about belarus or you might have listened such kind of information before but you are well informed about another additional information that i presented through my video in the end i would like to thank for you people for watching my video and i request humbly to subscribe my channel and don't forget to like the videos thank you